going to the moon. All right, all right, not really, but this is still pretty exciting. You see, NASA, well, they've tapped none other than our pals at Canoe to provide a zero emission EV to transport its crew to the launch pad for their upcoming Artemis mission to the moon. How cool is that? What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. So, as cool as it would be to see a canoe transporting astronauts from crater to crater all the way up there on the surface of the moon, I still think there's plenty to get excited about here. I mean, we haven't been back to the moon since 1972, so to be part of this long-awaited and hopefully glorious return, well, that's pretty cool. So the plan here is to land on the south pole of the moon by sometime in 2025. And the Artemis program, well, they're also gonna be supporting the longer term goal of sending a crewed mission to Mars with the help of Mr. Musk and SpaceX's HLS or human landing system. Yeah, look, it's really starting to feel like that sci-fi future that Hollywood's been promising us for the last 50 years is sorta here, or at least we're getting close, right? So for previous NASA and SpaceX launches, the Space Cowboys have been hitching a ride to the rocket in the Tesla Model X. And then there's Blue Origin, which if you're unaware, well, that's Mr. Amazon, AKA Jeff the Bezos' rocket shop that's competing with SpaceX. Anyhow, their astronauts, well, they hitch a ride in a Rivian R1T. And if that sounds random, it really isn't. Bezos and or Amazon, well, they're big time investors and part owners in Rivian, so yeah. Kind of makes perfect sense, even though, look, the R1S would probably just be a better choice, but what do I know? Probably not ready. So Canoe was selected from a pool of bidders to win this contract. The contract's sort of tiny, I mean, $147,855 to be specific, but that is not the point. NASA awarded Canoe on March 31st, but competitors do have about a month to protest this decision, but I'm just not too worried about that. Assuming the contract is all good, for that 147,000 bucks, NASA will get one sort of custom EV to transport the astronauts from the preparation building to the launch pad for both the dress rehearsal and on the official launch day. Obviously, NASA was only interested in zero emission vehicles, but there were two other parameters that needed to be met. First, the range had to be at least 50 miles, which is no problem and sort of arbitrary. I mean, how far away is the launch pad? Anyway, the second parameter is that it needs to be able to sit eight people. Okay, so as it is now, the lifestyle vehicle is set up to only sit seven people and there's no specific details about which vehicle they would be using. I mean, they could use and customize the larger MPDV or multi-purpose delivery vehicle, which because of its larger size would be Pretty easy solve, but I just really doubt they would go this direction, and that's for good reason. I mean, almost the entire point of this thing is to just get some really solid PR and screen time, and if you ask me, they'll customize the lifestyle vehicle to meet these parameters, and I just don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. So this could and should be like PR gold. I mean, astronauts are still beloved here, and thanks to Elon and SpaceX, people are watching the crap out of rocket launches these days especially a big time launch that's gonna return NASA to the moon after like a thousand years of quite frankly, pretty disappointing progress in the realm of space travel and exploration. In other words, this is a big, big deal and people will be watching, lots and lots of people. And boom, right there, front and center, yep, our favorite little tugboat of an EV canoe. I mean, you can't buy this kind of exposure. Well, I mean, I guess you can, uh, Never mind. Anyhow, as a big fan of both NASA and Canoe, this is just very, very sweet. And it's already looking like it's paying off as several big time news outlets have already picked up this story. And there's plenty to cheer for. Look, an American EV startup that's sort of doing things a bit differently teams up with NASA? I mean, how do you not root for this underdog? Seriously.